Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton Adult 95 which is another Transformers Legacy United video, and this has been a figure I've been looking forward to for quite some time, and got it a little bit early thanks to the Command Store or CMD Store, however you want to refer to it as. It's going to be the Voyager class Beast Wars Universe, or just Beast Wars, uh, Silverbolt. So, there he is. Uh, Awesome artwork here, but weird greebling that they've added to him to make him look more mechanical, since even though he's supposed to be more of an like organic wolf-eagle hybrid. Either way, awesome artwork there. Got some robot mode images there with his club blade weapons. And there we go, so 27 steps between robot and beast mode. You got that part of the mural. So let's go ahead and get him opened and check him out. And here we have Silverbolt out of his packaging, and right off the bat, I, I still love this figure, but there are some things that are confusing and really disappointing about him. That being said, he's not the worst figure I've gotten this year. Uh, I still honestly think that might be Thundertron, uh, you know, just kind of an underwhelming figure thus far, but this one does, you know, edge him out as being better, uh, just by a little bit. Now... Well, not by a little bit. I mean, I, I still enjoy him quite a bit, just based on character alone. Some of the design changes are nice, but some of it is really confusing. But we'll go ahead and get into looking at him. Lots of detail. You got some fur detail here, as well as the legs here. Some of the kind of skin details for the bird legs. Tons of feather details all throughout. And you got a mix of fur and feathers here on the back. So as a little transition there, you got some of that fading. Uh, does the same right here. don't know why they don't just make it a continuous fade unless this is nylon. They just, oh, let's stop it here. And then let's start it again. Uh, wish the wings did have some more of that, uh, you know, kind of transition from, you know, the, the gray to the gold, the black, just through here. We've got the white feathers there on the tail. Of course, more of that copper there on the toes. Got some over here on, I guess, the loincloth. Some red, I think that's paint. I don't know if it's paint or plastic for his little stomach jewel thing. Got some gold here. I can't tell if this is silver paint or if it's, yeah, it looks like silver paint. Okay. So silver paint here on these little things. Of course, on his mouth, muzzle, whatever you want to call it for robot mode. Got the black there for the mask and ears, that crest. Of course, the yellow eyes. So bringing in the original Silver Bolt. He, I mean, he is quite a bit taller. But uh, I think he's going to have some wing envy because, yeah, his wings are definitely a little bit smaller than the original. I do wish that there was a way to angle these up on his shoulders. To get him into that more kind of like flying in place pose or to look like he's firing his missiles which he does come with so here they are mostly used for him as blades I'll just plug those into his hands so we can do some fighting you can even have him get one ready to throw So we've got that, and I can just store right here on the wings. Just like that. There we go, so now he's got open stored away. And one other comparison, well, a couple more comparisons to make. Here he is with, of course, you know, the dark poison of his heart, black arachnia. Yeah, nice bit of size difference between them. I mean, it looks fairly accurate to the show. I'm not 100% sure. But it seems right. So, finally have them together. So there's Black Arachnia. And one final one. Just because I gotta keep going on about it. Here he is with Tiger Hawk. And as you can see, not the same mold, not even close. You'll definitely see that during the transformation. That is nothing similar to this. 
So just figured I'd drive that home a little bit further. You know, for those in the back that can't hear me. Anyways, going on to articulation. His head is on a ball joint. Can't get too much out of the range. Just do it being shaped the way it is. And mine seems to have like a bit of flash that's that keeps popping it into a front facing position. So it's hard to get it like as a subtle turn and then it, all of a sudden it just pops back. So I don't know what's going on with that. Shoulders are on a hinge or a swivel joint inside, kind of a mushroom peg. So you get full range of motion there. You get all the way out on a hinge here. You got a bicep swivel. Due to the transformation, you do have a double jointed elbow, but it pops that rear wolf leg out. Do you have a wrist swivel on this? So I'm glad to see that. Got a waist swivel, but you have to move the tail out of the way. So you got that. You can get all the way forward. All the way back and then some get all the way out and again extra get a thigh swivel and just a little over 90 at the knee and it goes back due to beast mode do get ankle tilt to about there and then you can pop it down again for beast mode of course you know the wings do have multiple joints here but for robot mode they are supposed to be kind of back like this kind of like air razor or you can kind of get them angled like that so you can kind of get them a bigger wingspan it's just the wings themselves are like short and tiny but yeah like that doesn't look too bad so you get full range there of course well we'll look at that more in beast mode which we'll go ahead and get to now. It is a fairly simple, but not quite the same transformation that we're used to with Silverbolt. So, go ahead and pop his head out. And I think this is meant for transformation. I haven't looked at the instructions. I just kind of figured it out. Uh, you know, just kind of fiddling around, just trying to test it out myself. So you want to pop the arms out to there and then bring this whole section down. Now, for some reason, there are these joints here they don't do anything i don't know what the point of these is uh i think there was another hinge somewhere that i don't understand what the use is for but i don't know why this has to come out so far like that i mean maybe it is designed to do that i don't know i don't know if they have anything else planned with this transformation scheme or not so there's that fold the head back and in straighten this out now these hinges right here are just purely aesthetic like they're completely fake they don't do anything they're just meant to look like these and the show model so weird bit of like easter egg or whatever but i, I don't know again this character befuddles me so go ahead and straighten that all out tab these together Go ahead and fold up the hands like that. Straighten that out. All right, so rotate this whole section around. Again, very strange of how they're doing it this time around. Go ahead and tab this into place. Fold this section down. And that tab will go into that slot there where that hinge is. There we go. I'm going to bring this section up and around. And that will tab into there. Bring up the leg. Bring down the talons. Same thing here. Up and around. Tab. Bring up the leg. Bring down the talons. We'll just take this little peg right here and it plugs right into the action stand port. And then the head will just clip in right there. Open the jaw if you want. And then just straighten out the wings. And make sure these rear legs, there is a slot there and a tab there. And there we have Silverbolt in beast mode. Now, 
from this angle, it looks great. You know, great looking wolf, you know, fusor mode. Then you turn it this way, and then the rear end of the beast mode sticks out further than the tail. So it's much like what happened with Tiger Hawk in that regard. I don't know why you know, they didn't cinch this up, or why they didn't go with something more like the original. Like, that almost looks so accurate to me. Like, other than the, the red eyes and the some of the details, like, it's, it's for the most part accurate to the show model. So I don't know what Hasbro was doing. Yes, they want to lean into the more realistic stuff. I get that for some of the molding here. But what is going on with this transformation in robot mode? Or beast mode? So, really hope someone can make a alternate tail piece that comes out a little bit further. Helps with the robot mode and some new wings. Because uh, these can just clip off. If someone can make some bigger wings that will fit on here, have the missiles, maybe have a hinge system i don't know just there's definitely some work that they could have done make this a little bit better but you know i don't hate it it just drives me nuts how their design design philosophy works and the fact that his front legs are so like scrunched up to his torso he has no neck i mean granted this one didn't have much of one either but it was beefy you know there was stuff going on this just head wings like there's not much distance whereas this one you know had a little bit more space before the wings like if they move this section back even just this much further like you'd have a little bit more neck they could probably figure out something to where like you, i mean you don't have to have these up but then the legs get all long and weird it just looks creepy I mean, I guess you can untab them and kind of finagle the legs a little bit. But he just suffers from the uh, the modern day and even original. I mean, even this one had better posing in beast mode. Just modern day beast modes to where they're just statues, basically. That, that's all they do is just sit there. I'm sorry, Hasbro, but they're not like vehicle mode transformers. They need to have some articulation other than just the tips of their legs in order to function as you know alt modes for these organic beast characters i mean as much as i love this i i don't know I, i've got to stop kissing the ass of hasbro i mean granted i still love these figures i love how you know the figure looks in robot mode i love that they're finally paying some attention to beast wars in this regard but i'm just not overall happy with some of this execution here so anyways let's go ahead and get them back into robot mode pop this up untab these untab the head bring the whole wing section up rotate it around bring the legs down down straighten out Bring one cloth piece down. Untab these sections here. Bring them down to about there. Go ahead and bring his chest forward, his head out. Beast mud head in. Actually, before we do that, then in. Tab. Close this down. Close up those sections there. Bring the legs forward, flip out the arms, and just kind of angle the wings a little bit. And there we have Silverbolt back in robot mode. Now again, like I said, robot mode looks amazing. Other than, you know, the small wings and some lack of articulation in the legs. I mean, it's not terrible lack of articulation. Other than the wings and the issue I'm having with my figure, with the head, he's great in robot mode, but it's just transformation and beast mode that just kind of put me off on this guy. But I don't hate it. It just confuses me and kind of irritates me a bit with some of the choices they've made here. So, uh, again, love the character, love the robot mode, just confused in some aspects, a little bit annoyed. 
still really enjoy him. Don't get me wrong. Uh, again, it's just some of their choices really get under my skin and irritate me. So, definitely not the worst figure, but very much not the best from, you know, United so far. There's definitely more characters I'm looking forward to in Wave 2, like Sandstorm and Starscream. I know some people are a little iffy on Sandstorm. I want to get them in hand and see how I feel, just like I did with Silverbolt. Uh, definitely looking forward to Starscream, so hopefully going to get that soon. Just got to wait for those pre-orders from Hasbro. I missed Starscream on CMD Store, but I'm glad I got Silverbolt. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think of Legacy United Silverbolt. Does some of their decisions, especially with the transformation and beast mode, irritate you the way it does me, or are you fine with it? Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check those links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, so long. Take care.